Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have this share with you a bag and tag and I'm using the My Mind's Eyes collection of my story and I got this a while back at Tuesday morning. I want to say it's $6.99 and the matching tags. I've had these a while so I thought these would be perfect colors to use for a Mother's Day gift and what I'm going to use today is this chipboard piece that I already cut into a tag and I've gone ahead and kind of prepped ahead and using the paper I should have flipped through it so let me bring it back and this is I already used some butterflies you could see right there this is a collection I really like it I'm really into black white pinks any color pinks any types of stripes and polka dots with blacks and this paper pad reminded me a lot of my mom and I thought it was a perfect way to use up the pad to make something that I think my mom would like. So like I said, this is a thick chipboard piece and I just used one of the papers to cover the tag. This is what I'm gonna cover the tag with. And what mainly inspired me to do this is this little acetate piece and it came from my previous uh, vacation i had to purchase a lock for my um, my luggage and i kind of thought it looked like a little purse there you go if you could see it better and i thought it was absolutely adorable and when my husband just wanted to throw this away i thought it was so cute so i kept it i just cut one of the tags that came in that package and i kind of eyeballed it i made a little template cut it in half Thank God it was symmetrical, so I was able to just fold it in half and cut along the edges. You can see my pencil marks there. And I actually, this is this one was like my third try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I cut out, out of that little floral tag, and I'm just gonna place it over. Like I said, I just traced it right here on the opposite side, and I'm gonna put it in through here. There we go, and then I'm gonna add in my back I wanted a different color for the backing so again another paper from the collection and then I'm gonna put it on top of the tag and I thought that was really cute so let's let's kind of put it together so what I'm gonna do is I really want to sew the edges of this of these two so I'm gonna bring my machine quickly and sew over using some pink thread and to be honest, I had to really clean my machine because it was so dusty. Being away for the week and not using it, I didn't know how much dust collection, collection, collecting it did. So there, real quick, simple stitch, and then I just cut off the edges. And I was messing around with the light. I'm, my desk isn't kind of in a position in, in the room where it's far from the window, so recording is kind of hard because the sun doesn't get all the way into my room, if that makes sense. So yeah, I turn on the light and try to mess with it a little bit. I hope it works. If it does, then I will kind of use that light, that lamp more often. So I'm using this silicone glue. Normally I go to uh, Martha from Martha's Creations on Instagram. I will tag her at the bottom. She sells this silicone glue and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Unfortunately, some of my stuff is still in, in the garage crafty stuff that I haven't pulled out. And this one, my mom actually bought it and sent it to me a while back. And I'm. it works the same way as Martha's silicone glue. So I really like it. And just putting the glue on top of it. And I like it. If you have not purchased any silicone glue, it's like literally hot glue but cold I want to say and it dry it gives you a wiggle room versus the hot glue doesn't so just kind of spreading it and my bottle is cut at an angle so that I'm not all the time squeezing the bottle to make a bunch of glue come out I spread it with the cut tip so now that that one's on I'm gonna glue the back of the shaker piece and I think I show the tip on this one where it's, yeah, there you go. It's kind of spreading. I'm not always pushing out the glue. But yeah, so I kind of measured it where I wanted to, to go. I didn't want to be off 
off of the tag. There we go. Look at my glittery nails. Ooh, I got them done for my best friend's wedding. Her colors were pink and I love it. I love this color. I'm a very pinky girl as you can see. So I have a, a mix already done here on the side and I'm gonna use this red, it's not a score tape, it's a red tape. I actually got this from Tuesday morning a while back. I'm gonna say a while back because I haven't been able to buy anything because I am trying to use up what I have and I'm strict doing like a strict no buy because of cats wants versus needs or needs versus want challenge I'm like super strict on myself and I need to use up a lot of stuff so I have I've been to Tuesday morning with my sister when I was on vacation I was so proud of myself because I did not buy nothing I was so proud of myself I did look, I'm not going to lie, I did look, but it's been easier. I think the first few days it was hard, but after a while, it, it's, it hasn't been hard knowing that, oh, I don't need that, I don't need this, I have some at home. So, I am kind of just using this tape all around, because I didn't want to use a hot glue gun when I, the last time I used it for my shaker card that I used, the elephant shaker card, it kind of warped it, and I didn't like the way that looked. So I thought I'll use this red tape since it's super sticky and it'll help my um, my plastic stick better. And I actually was really happy with the way it came out. So now is the tricky part and the fun part is putting in the sequence so that it, I mean, when you have a square shaker card, it's easier or a circle, a regular shape, but this is an odd shape because of the lock, or purse, shall I say, it's a purse. It's a purse to me because what's more, what more reminds you to, of your mom than her purse? And well, at least it does to me. I can't tell you how many times my mom would change her purse growing up and I really liked it. I think it just, it gives me a warm feeling looking at my mom's purse, especially when I was down there in California this past week, it, seeing my mom and her purse and everything, it just, it gives me childhood memory, like emotions and stuff like that. So I think that was, that's kind of where I was in a hurry to come back and create this card tag project. So yeah, so I'm taking my bone folder and just pressing along the end so that it get, gets really stuck on there. If you hear my dog in the back, sorry, he's always with me. Just FYI, if you hear like little grunting or the jingly bell, he is never far from my side. I think I'm his emotional support person when I know it should be the other way around. Anyway, these are some of the butterflies that I cut from the paper pad. And I did some fussy cutting and I'm going to add it here to this to the corner of the purse and what I'm going to use is these glue dots and I got them at Dollar Tree yes Dollar Tree I know they sell them like at Hobby Lobby but I got mine at Dollar Tree in the craft section and what I'm going to do is I like to roll it up I know this is the most disgusting thing okay like to make it but I roll it up like a booger okay so it's a circle and I just make it roll it up i know that's disgusting but i can't <laughs> i can't describe it any other way i just roll it up into a tiny little ball so that the plastic sticks to the to the butterfly because again i don't want to use the hot glue gun and i wanted to make it the butterflies bend i'm sorry that was really disgusting but that's how it, i can't explain it any other way so yeah i roll it up into a little ball and it's not even a ball it's like i don't know it's just weird so I'm going to use these jewels that my friend Veto gave me and I'm going to put them around the top of the purse to make it look like a handle. So I just measured it a little bit and put it on top and having nails is really hard to do all these little intricate folds and getting into things and it's really hard and I th I'm thinking of going back to s like shorter nails because of, because of this. Anyways, I had one missing, and you can't see, but I brought that little jewel all the way off to the end of the table. 
to be able to put it on right here so yeah that's that was fun anyway fixing the butterfly and getting things together and gonna put again some of the silicone glue onto the bow right there which is really cute I like that bow I don't remember where I got those I really don't using the twine that came into the tag packages I am going to add it to the tag now you can't have a tag and not a bag so I decided that I was going to make a quick and simple bag using the 12 by 12 paper like I said this was a last minute thought that went into it but if you would like me to show you how to make this I will comment below and I'll I'll make a, a full instruction video on how to make this but it's kind of self-explanatory for those who want to slow it down I didn't use any measurements except for the first one that I pulled out my scoreboard and that was a one inch for the very the top part of the bag lots of folding lots of you know pressing and creasing and getting the bag to its full potential punching some holes to add in the little bag handles there we go and that was pretty much it here's some photos of how it turned out and I did add a couple of bag decorations at the bottom but yeah that's it that's pretty much the bag and my little purse tag nobody will ever know that it came from a lock it just looks like a little bag to me thanks guys if you enjoyed you know tag me in your projects I'd love to see if you made the bag or a tag or even if you have a, a special tag style. Thanks guys, bye.